You can pull your hair from this time to this time. When you exactly. leave the town and go to the Exactly. Exactly. All right, yeah, Howdy, yeah, I, I guess so. All right, yeah, no, I'll, I'll send him a telegram now. Just give me hey. a second. There you are, Mr. Echo. There we go, good man. How are you, Ollie? Well, no. I'm mind. doing all right. How are you, Mr. Lip? I'm doing good, thank you very much. It's um, It's been a good day at the salon. Good, are good. You, are you hungry? I got some leftover uh, fish cakes, yeah, if you'd like one. Fish cakes? Yeah, I'll have mm -hmm. some. Mr. Diamond, I have made the most astounding discovery today while hunting. Okay. Baby gator pelts. They go for a really, really expensive price. They do? Very, very... They're almost twice the price if you cure them. Like, not if you cure them, but before curing, they're almost twice the price. Really? Baby gator skins. Oh, that's... Oh. Looks like I gotta so, get back into hunting. So it's like uh, the wolves used to be more than cured pelts. They used to be 312, now they're 342. Okay. So baby gator pelts are 372. Okay. Before curing. Yes. Before curing. Baby gators, not big gators, because big gators, of course, give you the large pelts. And large pelts are fat. You can only hold one of the wizard horse, whereas small gator pelts are 372. So, you can fit three of those. That's a ludicrous, ludicrous price for that many. That is pretty good. Thank you for the tip. You're welcome. I'm, uh, I have a catalog of a lot of prices um, of every single quality of pelt, carcass, and um, before and after. You... Are a very busy man, Mr. King. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Lottery tickets. Oh, by the way, new lottery is running. Uh, cheaper tickets. So. Cheaper tickets? Six fifty a ticket now. Six fifty. Hmm. Ollie, do you feel lucky today? Mm. Not particularly. Okay, how about... How about now? Yeah! Okay, we'll have two tickets. One for Ollie and one for me, please. Okay, one for Mr. Dan. Baby Peter's Give bite. me your number. Between one and five thousand, of course. One and five thousand. You chose your number. Choose your number. Five thousand. Um, five thousand is the maximum you get. Is that your number, Ollie? No, no, that's just real high. <laughs> <laughs> it is pretty high. Well, when you can purchase more than one ticket, and that's not even enough tickets for the whole state. There's like 20,000 people in the state. So. How often they're around, that's a different story. There are 20,000 people in the state. So it's not even enough. Can I get your full name, though, Mr. Ollie? It's like Oliver. Oh, it, it's Ollie DeLuca. Oh, Mr. Jaluka, all right. It's 13, right? Yeah, I gave you 13. Yes, it is. 13. Perfect. Okay, perfect. So, choose your numbers, fellows, and then I explain the rules if you don't know the rules already. After you, Ollie. 2,875. All right, that's your one number. Mr. Diamond, what's your number? 150, please. All right. And then you, Mr. Diamond, do you remember the rules of the lottery? Uh, yes, but you should probably tell them to Ollie here. Oh, I was going to ask you to be it. Oh, so, um... To make sure uh, you remember, if you do. So... 
uh, at uh, is it the end of the month? Every Monday. Oh, every Monday the 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 draw will happen, and uh, it needs to be the exact number this time. Only the last one of the month is the closest number. Um, mm -hmm. If your number is drawn, he will not uh, get in contact with you. You have to get in contact with Mr. King here. Uh, yes. If you check the public telegrams in the notice board, you will see a picture, and uh, he will hold the uh, the winning number, and then you need to get in contact. No, I would hold the draw with... number on the poster itself. Will have the winning number on it. Right. Yes. So. Yes. So uh, you need to send him a telegram saying, you know, I I got or the letter, number. I win. Or find me in person. Just acknowledging that, you know, because even Mr. Darman, who asked if it was his number, I would accept that. If you didn't remember your number, as long as you notified me that you were watching or looking for your ticket or your number, I will let you know whether you've won or not, and we can organize your distribution of winnings. So right now, we have six more hours until this winner can collect. If not, the bank seizes the money. So if you win, you have to contact me in either three ways, telegram, letters, or in person. I'm usually around every single night in um, Tintini here. If not any of those, uh, if I do not receive any response by any of those three methods within a week of me putting up that poster, because I'm only really meant to put up one poster on the day and that's it for the whole week. I don't put a post up every day. I put one post up once on a Tuesday. So if it gets buried, I mean, it's, it's just something you have to look for. So... If I do not receive any response for any of those three methods within the week, um, the winnings will be confiscated by the lottery and used for, um, what's it called, events that I plan in the future, such as the carriage craze or the canoe dash, or not. They're put forward to community events. Or I try to, at least. It's very hard. Number has already been... Wait, number has already been called? Today then, so we're waiting. For no, I numbers, draw or? it midnight, posted at two a.m. Ah, okay, okay. And then every Tuesday morning, sometimes I'm a bit late because I may party the night before, so the Monday I may be partying, or I may be too exhausted to post it at two a.m. So I'll post it on Tuesday. The post will be posted on Tuesday. So, but yeah, exact number, normal Mondays. Last Monday, closest number wins. Thank you, Duke. All righty then. It's gonna be yours, Ollie. You're gonna win. We shall see. I, you, you folks yeah. are the top ten, so you're on the top ten uh, first picks. So ha -ha. usually, the first ten within the first ten people have always won the lottery ha -ha. for some reason. I don't know the why. Odds are in our favor. People, yes, they are in your favor. It's really odd, though. I'm not sure why it's the first 10 numbers I put down, but it is. Mm -hmm. I must say, Mr. Dama, did you always have that stash before you went to France? Uh, yes, I've started growing it when I was made manager of the Four Horsemen Saloon way back in... Uh, well, last year, October of last year. I swear, I just don't remember the stash. Maybe it was your attire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it, it's, it's been there. Report. It, it, it has. Hmm. Alright, alright, alright. Speaking of which, have you seen, or I have a description here. I've been asked to look for the fellow, he'd be around this time. A fellow who is well spoken and wears a green suit, but also has a disdain for me. Uh, is he one of the Brits? I have no idea. Apparently, officer said it's not for the Brits. So, uh, can you can you describe him somewhere? That's all I got from the officers. And they said they couldn't I... give me any more information on the case. But my name I... was involved somehow, and then they questioned me about it, but didn't give me enough information to actually tell them anything because I don't know what the hell they're talking about. They just told me there's a person that has disdain for me. Where's green suit? And has been murdering people across the sea. So. Okay, well, I, I, that does not ring a bell. I'm, I'm sorry. That's fine. 
That's a very weird description. I think I'd remember someone like that. Mm -hmm. Apparently I met him, but I have so many hours that I've been in the telegram station here. Because they met me one time in the telegram station here. I... No clue who that could be. Howdy, Mr. Hale. Howdy, Hello, Mr. Mr. Halbert. You know, I didn't get to chat with you in the bar before the resume barge did. Oh, I gotta yeah, scoot, so but I'll let me see you around. My telegrams real quick. How y'all doing? Take it easy, Ollie. Hi, I'm Hope you right. I don't know. <laughs> sure, office. I wish you two the best luck. Oh, no. There's oh, more God. details, Alan. You always dress like a witch? Most of the time, yes. Depending. Oh, yeah. Uh, so an interest to Halloween thing. <laughs> no, it's not an Halloween thing. I am a witch. No, I, I live in the bayou. Oh. Oh! Hey, uh, you know this... Uh, you know flowers in the bayou? Yes, I do. What's this? Huh. Actually... Hmm... That's a rare run. I think you can... I mean, you can't use it... Um to any remedies or anything but I think it's a uh, it's a flower that is uh, um, used for um, what do you call it to decoration on your on your clothes it's a very rare flower oh so you, if you don't know what to do it, you might uh, maybe search for someone who wants to buy it from you, maybe. Mm. Alright. Yeah, it's, it's called a uh, blood oh, flower, a uh, red flower. Oh, that's scary. <laughs> well, don't worry. There's nothing scary about like this I flower. Said, I, I... Okay. Thank you. You're, you're welcome. I appreciate you. Oh, thank you. You're, you're very nice too. You take care, right? You too. <laughs>